everything here at my kuti and um, hello so let me just see around here might not need that okay so today I joined the Satama Sangha which is um, like the the good Dhamma taught by the good Gautama and so I thought that I would today do some a little reading of uh, like this com these compiled texts that I found that was translated by Venerable S. Dhammika and it's called Gemstones of the Good Dhamma or in Bali Sattama Mani Ratana. And so the reason I want to read a little bit um, about these is um, because I think it's a good thing to hear, and hearing the Sattama is a very rare thing. And so I want to qualify this by just reading a little bit of the preface um, that the Venerable. Stamika has written about this verse. So, just to get an idea of what it is we're um, about to go into, it's uh, quite a long work, so it might take uh, some time before we actually go through it. Hopefully, today we'll be able to go through um, the first five uh, as it's set up here, and so that will be um, the Ayachana and the Dhamma Waka, and Kilesa Waka, and the Dana Waka, and the Sila Waka. And those are one, the request, and two, the Dhamma, and three, the defilements, and four, giving, and five, virtue. And so hopefully today we can go through these, and um, I'm going to be reading both uh, the Pali and the English um, and let me just put a link here to the actual text I can put it in the chat here let me just put it up right there or where I'm looking and there you go so it's, so it's on access to inside authors Dhammika and then wheel 342.html and if you are having a hard time finding it in that way, you can search on access to insight to get the exact text. You can search gemstones of the good Dhamma, the Sattama Maniratana. Over here. So if you didn't get that, you can just pause the video or go back and then you can see what we're looking at. I'm going to close this chat for now and then I am going to just zoom out a little bit and here you can see my kuti, my meditation hut here in Second Life and this is a new place and that down there is another kuti, just down there and over here is the big Buddha and this is a new stupa I'm pretty sure I don't think it's uh, finished, so maybe in the next video we'll get to see a little more detail on that one. So I think we should do the reading over at the Buddha. So let me just see here. Um, I was just looking at my hover height. It looks a little bit high. But yeah, we're gonna go over to this Buddha right here and just go first person so we can actually look around here. And down there at the pond, it's another meditation place. Maybe you wanna see that right quick. And there's a waterfall over here, and this is kind of like a willow looking tree. And this is the pond with swans and the sakura tree. 
and over behind there where I'm looking now that's the main temple and maybe we're going to go and look at that in another video but yeah this is uh, the pond and that's another creepy I don't think I don't know who has taken that one yet but I'm pretty sure right now that is just me here so wow look at that water okay so without further distractions let's try and get right into actual reading I'm gonna sit here oh I don't want to sit out in the air let me just come down like so so I'm actually sitting on the ground okay so let's see go like that or if we do it like this I think it's a little bit better if we do it like this okay so yeah um just do this and then we can say pay homage to the Buddha and we can say Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa And for a second time Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa And for a third time Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa I think this is gonna be fine for now. So we can just imagine that we're. Oh, let me just see. Um, camera controls. So it's probably gonna help a little bit. We can do it like so. And can I turn just a little bit? Okay. This should be fine. I think this is good. Let me just close these. And now I'm going to go over to the page where I'm going to do the reading. And oh, I almost forgot to mention that today I became an official member of the Satama Sangha, the good uh, Dhamma Sangha. And uh, that's also why I just want to spend some energy and I'm really really happy about that and so I just want to do this reading so um, I don't waste this chance to to spend this time delving into the Dhamma both in study and in actual practice so both aspects are going to come into play in this way so it's not just me reading aloud um, it's actually I'm reading aloud because my practice allowed me to now delve into this part of the study since being an official Satama Sangha member is uh, for life and uh, I'm very proud about that and so I don't want to focus too much on myself or anything but I just want to give you a fair chance to also um, kind of uh, get that good that, that satama sanka feel so without further ado I'm going to start off reading the Achanna the request Ayachanna and my Pali is not um, my Pali pronunciation is not the best so please excuse me for any and reading mistakes I'm going to have to try to make that up on the English part okay and so let me just check the screen everything looks fine the sound picture and let's go so starting off with number one 
Nepali. Namo te puri satchanya. Namo te puri suttana. Sare vakka samini. Lokasmini. Natti te patti pukkalo. And in the English. Homage to you, so nobly bred. Homage to you, amongst men supreme. Peerless are you in all the world. May all worship be given to you. And number two. Namote putta, viratu, vipamutosi, sapari. Sampara patipanosmi, tassa me saranang pawa. Homage to you, enlightened hero, you who are completely free. I have fallen into great distress. Be my refuge and my shelter. And number three, in part one. Passang ahang. Dewa manu saloke, akincha chanang, brahmanang, iriyamanang, tang tang namasami, sam samanta chakko, pamuncha mang sakka, kata katang katai. In the world of gods and men, I see this true, I see this Brahmin true, this simple man, you I worship, all-seeing one. So free me, Sakka, from my doubts. And here it has a footnote. Okay, so it explains. It says here, Sakka, Sakya. Um, the Buddha's clan name. So we would probably most likely know that as the Sakya clan because Sakka is uh, often um, known as, uh, you know, Sakka of the Tavatimsa heaven. Okay, going back, back here, I was just reading the footnote. And number four in the Pali Anu Sasa Brahme Karuna Yamano Vive Katamanang Yang Ahang Vichanang Yatahang Akasova Avicha Aviapa Jamano Itewa Santo Asito Chareyang O Brahma Out of compassion teach me the lofty Dhamma so I may understand and relying on nothing else may live unclouded like the sky And number 5 in part 1 Yecha Samkata Tamase Yecha Sikka Puto Ita Tisang me nipako iriang utto papuruhi marisa. Those who have understood the Dhamma and those who have trained themselves in it. O oh, wise and truly gracious one, tell me how they live their lives. And now we're continuing on to Dhamma Vakka, part two. So the first part was the request, and now comes some actual Dhamma. And just a second, um, I will be right back. Just, just a few seconds. OK, 
Okay, so continuing on with part two, the Dhamma Waka. Continuing with six, six verse. Kitta yisami, te damang, titte damme, aniti hang, ya viditwa, sattu charang, dare loke visatikang. I'm just checking here. Okay, sound is good. I will teach you a Dhamma, not hearsay, but to be directly seen. Whoever discovers it and knows it and lives by it with mindfulness will transcend craving for the world. Suvijano Bhavang Hoti Suvijano Parabhavo Dhammakamo Bhavang Hoti Dhammadesi Parabhavo Prosperity in life is plain. Decline in life is also plain. One who loves the Dhamma prospers. One who hates the Dhamma declines. Continuing on. Yocha Dhammang Apinaya Dhammang Anayo Pantito Rahato wa nawato cha Aneyo wupasamati Thoroughly understanding the Dhamma and freed from longing through insight. The wise one, rid of all desire, is calm as a pool unstirred by the wind. It's very poetic. Yesang Dhamma Asamutta Parawateso Na Niyare Te Sambuddha Sammadana Charanti Visame Samang Those to whom the Dhamma is clear are not led into other doctrines. Perfectly enlightened with perfect knowledge they walk evenly over the uneven. Continuing on, number ten, verse number ten. Na udakena suchihote pao etta na yati jano yame sachan chatamoja so suchi so cha. Not by water is one made pure, though many people may here bathe, but one who there is, but one in whom there is true Dhamma. Okay, so I'm going to read that one again. Not by water is one made pure. Though many people may bathe here, but one in whom there is truth and Dhamma, he is pure, he is a Brahman. Uchuko Nama Somako Appaya Nama Sadisa Ratto Akujano Nama Dhamma Chukihi Samyutto the path is called straight. Without fear is the destination. The carriage is called silent, and its wheels are right effort. And number twelve. Hiri tassa appalambo sati asa pariwaranam dhamma. Dhammahang Sarating Brumi Sammariti Pure Jawang Conscience is the rails and mindfulness is the upholstery. 
Dhamma is the driver and right view runs ahead of it. Yasa ita tisang yanang itia purisas itia purisasa wa sawe itena yanena nibanasa ewa santike and whether it be a woman or whether it be a man Whoever travels by this carriage shall draw close to Nibbana. Ye kechi osara loke vichanti vivira pahu dammo satam dammo satasanang natti etang piwata pikkavat Pikkawa. Of all the me of all the medicines in the world, manifold and various, there is none like the medicine of Dhamma, and therefore, O Bhikkhus, drink of this. Dhammo sarang piwitana Ajarama rana siyung Bawa yitwa cha pasitwa Niputta upadikaye Having drunk this Dhamma medicine you will be ageless and beyond death. Having developed and seen the truth, you will be quenched, free from craving. And this concludes the part two of the Dhamma Waka. Continuing on with part four. Yeah, it, it's grouped into parts, and this is uh, part three. And the verses just continue with verse number 16. And this is part 3. The Kilesa Waka. The defilements. Those which sully and defile and of course <laughs> defile and sully and um, dirty up the mind and makes it heavy and not swift. It makes it gloomy and ultimately the defilements will render the mind completely useless. Also known as the impurities of the mind. And here we go. Verse number 16, part 3. The Kilesa Waka. Kamma yukena samyutta pawa yukena chupayang titti yukena samyutta avichaya purakata satta kachanti samsarang jatti maranang kamino. Bound by desire, tied to a pin, tied to becoming. Bound by desire, tied to becoming, fettered tightly by false opinions, yoked to ignorance, whirled around. Thus beings wander through samsara, dying only to be reborn again. Na hiranja hiranja suwa nena Pariki yanti asawa amita wadaka kama sapa salapantana. Neither gold nor minted coins 
can make the defilements disappear. Sin's desires are enemies and killers, hostile darts, rigid bonds. Ummadana ullapana kamachitta pamatino satanang samkilesaya kipang marena otitang. Desire is agitating and deceiving, a source of mental pain, and it cast out by Mara. And let's see, or oh, let me just finish the verse. To entangle and defile beings. And let's read this footnote on Mara. Oh, I missed one. So the first footnote was on the Sakya clan, uh, the Buddha's clan name, and the second one I missed was. Brahma um, and Brahma is like a, a god or a deity. There are different Brahmas and and Mara it says here. Um, this was the one, the footnote we were looking for. Mara, the tempter. The evil one. In Buddhism, Mara is like uh, Satan or the personification of Satan or the devil. And so he's known as Mara, the tempter, the evil one. Going back up, we were reading about the defilements. And here we are. So part 3, verse 19. Papatasa suvanasa jattarupasa kewalo twitta vanalang ekasa itti vitva sammang kare chare. It's because C is cha. So it's chare, sammang chare. Were there a mountain all made of gold, doubled, that would not be enough to satisfy a single man? Know this and live accordingly. That's an important verse or stanza. I'm just going to call these verses for now. Kotano Tupano Otti Ato Dukang Pisitiso Ato Atang Kahetwana Anatang Atipachati Tato Kayena Wachaya Wattang katwana kotano. How ugly is this angry man! His sleep is without comfort. Despite his wealth, he is always poor, filled with anger as he is. He wounds by acts of body and speech. Anta lapati Hattarang chittarang lapati jayam Akusako cha akusang Rositarang cha rosako Atta kama viwatena So wiluto wilumpati One who kills gets a killer. One who conquers gets a conqueror. One who reviles gets reviled. Thus, as a result of his own actions, the spoiler will run, will in turn be spoiled. And verse number 22 in part 3. 
natanyo ikadamopi yene wa ni wuta pacha samsaranti ahuratang yatta mohena awutta there is no other single thing by which the human race is hindered by which it wanders day and night so much as by this delusion and delusion has ties to ignorance awiti imesu kira sachanti ikke sammana pramana Wikayaha na wiwatanti jana ekandas ekangatasino. How they cling and how they wrangle, yet claim to be recluses and Brahmins, quarrelling and clinging to their opinions. They see only one side of things number 24 yecha ratin diva yutta samma sambuddhase samma sambuddhasa sane te nippa penti raka kim nichan asupa san those who apply themselves day and night to the teachings of the Buddha will quench the burning fire of lust by the perception of the impure. Dosaging Panametaya Nippapenti Narutama Mohaging Bana Panchaya Yayang Nipita Kamini. By love, they will quench the fire of hate, and by wisdom, the fire of delusion. Let me read that one again. By love, they will quench the fire of hate and by wisdom the fire of delusion those supreme men extinguish delusion with wisdom that breaks through to truth and that was the last verse in the Kilesa Waka now continuing on to part 4 Dana Waka or giving dana means giving or generosity verse number 26 na samane na brahmane na kappa na kapanitike na wanipake lapana samvipaja samvipajeti anang Panancha Pojanang Tang We Awutikasamoti Ahu Nang Pura Puri Satamang Not recluses or Brahmins, neither with the poor and needy does the base man share his food or give any drink or sustenance. People say that selfish man is like a drought, a rainless sky. Ikkachanang natadati, ikkachanang pawichanti, pawichati, tang we parisawasat. Ade Sawa City Ahu Mittiwino Jana 
one who shares his wealth with some, but not, but does not gladly give to others, is only like a local shower. In such a way, the wise describe him. Supi, supikawacho puriso, sapa putanu hampako, amo damano paki peti. Teta teta ti pa pa sati. That was a tough one. But one who rains down bountiful gifts, gladly giving here and there, out of compassion or out of kindness, for all beings. And one who always says, give, give. Yatapi mego tanayita tanayitwa kacha kachaitwa pawasati talang ninat ninancha pureti apisantanto warina ewang ewa itekasku itekacho this type of person is like a giant cloud filled with rain, thundering and pouring down refreshing water everywhere, drenching the highlands and lowlands too, generous without distinctions. Tamena samharitwana Uttana tikatang tana tapeji ana panena samma sate wanibake. With his wealth collected justly, one through his own efforts. This is important. He shares both food and drink with beings who are in need. Yattabi kumpo sampuno yassa kasachi atokato wamate utakan nise san na tata parirakati. Just as a pot filled with water, if overturned by anyone, pours out all of its water and does not hold any back. Tatewa yakidiswa hinamukata machime tatitanang nisesang kumpo wiya atukato even so excuse me even so when you see those in need, whether low, middle or high, then give like the overturned pot, holding nothing back. Tanang cha, beya wachan cha, attachari cha, attacharya cha, ya ita, samanata, Sammanatata Tammesu Tatta Tatta Yattarahang Eteko Sankaloke Rattasani Wa Yayato Generosity, kind words, doing a good turn for others, and treating all people alike. These bonds of sympathy are to the world what the linchpin is to the chariot wheel. Anato palato hoti, wataro hoti, wanado, 
yannaro sukkaro hote tipparo hote chakkuro giving food one gives strength giving clothes one gives beauty giving lamps one gives sight giving transport one gives delight so cha sapparato hote yo ta ta ti upasayan amatang ta to cha so hote yo tama yo tamang anusa satti giving shelter to one gives all but one who instructs in the dhamma the excellent teaching of the buddha such a person gives ambrosia and that's an interesting word ambrosia let's try and look it up um, and get the official uh, translation of it so it says here in Greek and Roman mythology it means the food of the gods thought to confer immortality or something with an especially delicious flavor or fragan fragrance and as the Buddha taught there is no savor or flavor just as the truth no f savor comes even close and three for the translation of ambrosia ambrosia a dessert containing primarily oranges and flagged coconut so probably not for <laughs> the third translation there um, but it is uh, what we think of as food of the gods and thought to confer immortality or deathlessness as we know it in Buddhism and now we've reached part number five the final one um, the sila waka on virtue and let's get right into it silang iwita siketa as asming loke susikitang silang hi sapasampating upanameti sewitang here in the world one should train carefully to purify virtue for virtue when vi when well cultivated brings all success to hand yo panang natti pateti musa watang na pasetti Loke atinang natiati parataran na kachati. Not harming living beings, not speaking lies, taking nothing in all the world unasked, nor going to the wives of other men. Sura me rayapa nang cha ya yo naro nanu yun chati pahaya pancha verani sila wa itti wu chati and never drinking intoxicants one who gives up these five harmful acts and does not engage in them is truly called a virtuous man atti silang patita cha ka kaliyana kaliyana nan cha matukang pamukang sapadamanang tasma silang we so die. Virtue is the foundation, the forerunner and origin of all that is good and beautiful. And therefore, one should purify 
one's nurture. And in Buddhism, there are loads. I can actually only think of two times. I mean, the first time was so good that you don't even need a second time. Or a, and, a, a, and when I say a second time, I mean a second argument for why and as to why we should all strive to purify our virtue. This is a key point in Buddhism. And for anyone interesting, interested in becoming a Buddhist, this is where you start. As it says here, let me just read again. Virtue is the foundation, the forerunner and origin of all that is good and beautiful. And the Dhamma is definitely good and beautiful. It is beautiful in the beginning, it is beautiful in the middle, and it is beautiful in the end. And therefore, one should purify virtue. That's a great argument. Continuing on with number 40. Silang palang apatimang Silang awudang uttamang Silang aparanang Sittang Silang kawachang Aputang Virtue is a mighty power. Virtue is a mighty weapon. Virtue is the supreme adornment. Virtue is a wonderful armor. Na chakka vasalo hurti. Na chakka hurti pramano. Kamana vasalo hurti. Kamana hurti pramano. One is not low birth low because of birth, nor does birth make one holy. Deeds alone make one low, and deeds alone make one holy. Anangasa, Anangasa, Pusasa, Nichang Suchi Kawesino, Walaka Matang, Papasa, Appamatang, Wa kayati. To one who is without evil, always striving for purity, a wrong of the size of a hair tip seems as big as a rain cloud. Punchang ewaso sikea ayatakang sukkahuntrayang dana tananja. Sammachi Sammacharyancha Mitta Chittancha Pau Pauaye That was a tough one. Train yourself in doing good that lasts and brings happiness. Cultivate generosity, the life of peace, and a mind of boundless love. Silang Ajarasa Satu Sata Satu Atita Atihita Panya Narang Ratanang Punchang Chore Hia Hariang The good luck of virtue never fades. Faith also brings great good. Wisdom is man's most precious gem. Merit no thief can ever steal. Sapara sila sampano panjwa susamahito achata Ta chinti satima o kang tarati tutarang. In every virtue, all accomplished with wisdom full and mind composed, 
looking within and ever mindful. Thus one crosses the raging flood. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. And I'm going to end this uh, video here and for the next one we're going to continue with Wachawaka speech um, part 6 and um, I'm just going to save this one gemstones of the Buddha I think I might have forgotten to actually read some of the preface here so let me just uh, read this sentence um, of the preface uh, preface uh, by Venerable Istamika. This is just a short part. Most of the verses are the words of the Buddha himself. A lesser number is attribu attributed to his enlightened disciples, but even these reflect the spirit of the Buddha's Dhamma, for it is said, that which is well spoken is the word of the Buddha. And I think um, that's taken from the Ankuttara Nikaya. Um, and then let me just pass on um, again um, the intention of Venerable Istamika. May these gemstones of the good Dhamma illuminate the path so that all beings may attain Nibbana. And thank you so much to the Venerable Tamika for making it possible for all our, us with English eyes mostly to just um, be able to read the good Dhamma, the gemstones of the good Dhamma, the Satama. And now I am going to go back over here into Second Life. to the Buddha as we were just reading the Satama and for a second time bowing down and for a s third time bowing down to the Buddha Sadhu 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 and now that we have finished reading going to back out and I'm going to walk down to the Kuti again. This is my Kuti. Have some food. Let's just go check inside because that would be interesting. So this is uh, the library and I have a picture on my wall. I can sit over there and I heard these bars on the windows so all the tigers cannot just jump right in <laughs> I don't know if that's alright but I think these kutis came like this and um, no particular reason and I mean I could imagine like if well, you live in the jungle you might actually have like monkeys <laughs> and all sorts of little animals come into your kuti and make a mess or sleep in your bed right there and so probably that's why there are some bars on the windows because at least we could just imagine that's why okay so we can see the buddha here that's right there and the stupa is right there and it's it's dark outside now and here is my little meditation spot in the lava lamp, that's new. I don't know who put it there, but we're just gonna leave it there for now. And the Buddha in meditation and some green tea. So it's a very nice good tea. And lamp. So I think I should sit here. Boop, like so.
so that was the reading of the gemstones of the good Dhamma, the Satama Maniratana. And I'm so happy that I got to spend some time with you today in reading and drenching ourselves in the Satama. And I'm so happy that I got a chance to share in the goodness of becoming an official Satama Sangha member as I just did today. I'm very very proud and very very happy and in cultivating good things, good things will come to you and just keep trying and keep striving and be diligent and work on purifying your virtue and keep reflecting and in no time you will become released. You will find true peace, happiness, and freedom from suffering. And I don't know if I'm going to continue uh, reading through all of these, um, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to continue at least for a little bit longer through all of these parts because they are very poetic and it's very, very beautiful reading and I get to practice both my English and my Pali pronunciation. And so once again, I would like to thank you for coming and listening to this Dhamma and for giving me your time. And I'm sure that it will find its way back to you in some Way. And with all that being said, I think we should end the episode here, and uh, we've got a lot of things to look forward to in this new place. So I think that was a nice reading, and please leave a like on the video if you thought so as well, and all the best to you.